Ciao, buongiorno a tutti ragazzi. A little bit late for this reaction. Horrible weather, horrible working day, so busy, but how can you be upset? Milano siamo noi, it's black and blue yet again. And this morning, that was one hell of a match. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he was everything for that Milan team in the first 45 minutes, but as he's quickly about to figure out, he is a lion, but he's on the front line with felines, pussies, cats, kittens, the rest of that Milan mob. They're nothing to look at. They're nothing to be proud about. And they were horrible in that second half today. And we just ran all over them. That's not to say that we weren't poor in the opening 45. It was horrible. I thought it was like the reverse of the first fixture. Where we saw Milan turn up in the first fixture as the home side and play horrible football. And act disinterested and act like they wanted nothing to do with that derby. That was us for the first 45 minutes today. I haven't even had a chance to read post-match interviews. I don't know what Conte said at halftime. I don't know what he said at the end of the match. I just can't believe that we picked up four goals and three points in the second half. I was only able to catch the first 20 minutes of the second half um, before being in and out of the rest. But you've got Brozovic returning and scoring. Vecino scoring a critical goal at the critical point of the match. And this is, this is two weeks after it was lamented by the media that Vecino was out. He and Conte, like, they were on a completely different page. They wanted nothing to do with each other anymore. And here he is scoring another goal in a derby. Another one. He's got one last year. He's got one this year. He's got the assist for Ricardi. Vecino. I don't think we're going to see him leave. <laughs> um, who else? The second half was just so much better. We ran around them. And I've just been reading that Alexis Sanchez was pretty good. Lukaku's presence once again, very strong. Victor Moses added a lot of intensity when he came on. And, you know, from what I'm hearing from people is that once we grabbed that second goal, it was game, set, match. And we just didn't look like conceding. I think Milan did hit the post once again. But they're just a bang average team of bang average players. And, you know, they're in the bottom half of the table where they deserve to be and where they belong to be at the moment. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat how shit they are even if it did take us to pull it out of our ass in the second half to get this win, because at the moment, the city is black and blue. It has been for five straight derbies, and I don't think it's actually going to change anytime soon. I feel as though in the 27 years that I've been around, I've never seen the city so one-sided, and it's good. It's very, very good for us. Can't complain. In terms of logistically where this puts us, we are equal top of the table with Juventus on the equal amount of points after their hilarious loss to Verona yesterday, but... You know, it's important not to celebrate or go completely crazy over the shortcomings of your rivals, especially when we haven't done anything just yet. Shout out to all the believers, all the ones that are still on queue for the Scudetto. The dream, still a dream for me at the moment, ragazzi. But at the end of the day, Forza Inter, Milano and Nerazzurri. To hell with these red and black dogs.